Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and another sticker kit collection video. Today we are doing my very, very large celebration, birthday, baby, etc, etc <laughs> um, binder. There's a lot of different things in here. Um, some of them are in here just because this is uh, a bigger album than the SPC one, so they hold larger kits like planner face kits. Um, but this is a Sadie Stickers album. So some of that's in here. Some of these are just kits that I'm hoarding for a long time. Um, I also have my pet kits in here. Uh, so yeah, so let's just get started. There's a ton in here, so this is probably going to be a long video. Um, so let's start at the front. Um, I have two copies of this. This is Hat Trick from Sticky Essentials. She brought this back, I think the most recent times that she was open and she was uh, bringing back older kits. Um, and this is the only hockey kit I have ever seen. Um, it is a mini kit, which is unfortunate because it's like, it was like really old when she um, originally brought it out. So that's what this is. And then I also have, um, label samplers here and then yeah so I have two label samplers since it was a mini kit and then I went ahead and paired Planner Hannah hockey underlays since I know that I want to use them with this um and this is in silver so this is in hockey one this is like the you know like mismatched ones that go with it so that's hat trick and then the second copy all looks the same but has oops, has a black and a silver of hockey too which is just the hockey pucks so that's what I would pair if I'm going to use hat trick again to label samplers because it was a mini kit the only thing that I really am sad about is that it's eight full boxes plus this one but I think that if I was going to use this kit I probably have pictures that I want to put in so I think it'd be okay and that I would um be fine with only having that many for boxes. So that is hat trick. Um, so like I said, it's kind of a hodgepodge in here. So we start with sports. <laughs> so next I have game day. This is like the football one from SPC. This one just came. I ordered it from the buy sell trade. Um, but I love the green colors. It's like not necessarily has to be used for one specific team because it's not like red or orange or you know that kind of thing so this is game day for football we don't watch a ton of football but I mean pretty much we always watch the Super Bowl right doesn't everyone um mainly for the halftime show of course <laughs> so and you never know I might want to use it one day so I have game day next uh changing speeds here is super spacey from caress press this was the Cyber Monday Mystery from 2021. Um, I'm planning, hopefully, a trip to Houston uh, this year. So this is in here because it's kind of doesn't fit, whoops, doesn't fit anywhere else, um, but is kind of also slotted for that week if we end up going um, because of NASA and of course, right? So this is super spacey. We have the double scenes here. I love these colors with the pink, this like dark navy. Uh, this bright blue and then the purple. We have star patterns for all of them, but still enough that you could color block it. The little things page, the checklist page. Uh, this is the bottom washi with the extra box. Uh, this is the fashion people page with the tall box and the double scene here. So that would make it three double scenes, which is a lot. I have 15 millimeter, the deco page, and then some leftovers from when I used it the first time. Um, so I have an extra 50 millimeter, the little things page, and just some extra glitter headers and whatnot. So that is super spacey from Cross Press. Next I have Live Spatter with Cake. Um, this is from Planner Face. I think this was a mystery reformat, if I remember correctly. I think this came out in 2021 and then she reformatted it and put it in the shop. So I think it's in the shop right now. Um, but this is just like a baking cake kit. Um, and I love the colors. I think they're so pretty. Um, it may end up just being like a general spring kit. I think that would be nice. So that's possibly what's going to happen. But this is Life's Batter with Cake. Here's the full boxes. We have the extra ones with the skin change in skin tones. We have an extra scene here and another two extra skin tones here. 
the deco and date headers, the checklist and rounded boxes, the little things, both boxes, checklists, um, the bottom washi and the extra box here, and then the glitter add-on. So that is Life's Batter with Cake from Planner Face. Next, we're kind of going into what I would use as memorial kits. So this is We Will Meet Again from Glam Planner. I think I have like a copy and a half of this maybe. Um, so we'll see. So here are the full boxes. I love this scene. They're just so pretty um, with the butterflies and the flowers and the rainbows. Um, and then the colors in the kit are rainbow, pastel. Yes, so here's part of from a mini kit. I think this was maybe in a grab bag, I think. Um, we have deco here. There's not a ton of deco since it's just butterflies and flowers, but it's pretty. Um, this is the other bitty kit page, I think. Another of the checklist pages. This is the little things. Um, I have, let's see here. Here's the washi page, which I think is really pretty with the flowers and then the rainbow. And then here's the fashion people, the tall boxes. I have, I think I have a couple copies of this because I got them in grab bags. Yeah. So I have a couple copies of the, like who they're for. So a baby, a cat, a dog, and then just like hands for a person. And then I have the big double box, the glitter headers, and then also the label sampler that has all the colors on it. So that is Until We Meet Again from Glam Planner. And then next, I also have Silly Studio Art, and this is Aura from Pink Diamond Planner Co. This was just general art that she came out with, but I saw somebody else mention that it would be great for a memorial art, and I was so agreed, so I put this in this section. Um, so we have the two full boxes, again, with the two scenes here. Deco and movie marquees and little things, work labels, boxes, rounded boxes. I love this color. That's one of my favorite colors. We have the glitter headers. This one's very strong. <laughs> the two extra boxes here with the mirror and then the stairs. The solid page, pattern page, um, and then the bottom washi here. This is, yes, so this was the format that did include the split washi plus the uh, hand with the butterfly on the finger here. I have the 50 millimeter that's in that dark purple. Here are the extra boxes from Planet Fancy because I loved um, just like her composition of these. So here are those. And then I also have the freebie boxes from uh, Pink Diamond Planner Co. So that is Aura from Pink Diamond Planner Co. Slash Planet Fancy. <laughs> A little bit. Um, next I have Memories from Planner Face. This was not exclusive art, but she's the only shop that I saw do this art. Um, so I don't know how many other people have this, um, but this is Digiberry Designs, I think is how you pronounce it. So this is Memories. This is like a photography kit, um, and my boyfriend and I are into that. We don't do it a ton as much as we would like, but I think it would be fun to have if we did do it uh, one week or like got back into it. So you have the extra fashion girls and then you have the fashion guys. We have the date headers, the tiny deco. I love that she does that. Checklist here, um, little things page, checklist page, the bottom washi with the extra box, and then also the glitter add-on. So that is Memories from Planner Face. Next we have my two like election kits. First I have the election kit from Pink Diamond Planner Co. She used this um, like for the week that you're voting. Um, so I think this is just a mini kit. So there's not a ton here. Um, I did use this and then I was like, wait, I want to use that again. So, um, I have it here. I just think it's so pretty. Your voice counts. Um, we have the glitter headers here, little things. This is old, old format. Of course, I wonder if she'll reformat this for the next election cycle. Then the 15 millimeter and the bottom washi. So yeah, I think that's a mini kit. So pretty small, um, but could always bring in extras with these blues and reds and pinks. So there is election. Next, I have the inauguration art that was making history from SPC. I loved this. I have used this multiple times, I guess. Um, so I have a copy that's 
literally just for me to keep because I love this art. And then I also have all of the leftovers here. So this is a thick stack for this kit. Um, but let's just flip through it. We have the extra scene here. We have watching inauguration. I love that. Deco, rounded boxes, glitter headers. I think every time I've used this, I've not used this color because I just don't vibe with it. I love it just with the dark blue, the red, and the um, light blue. So I don't think I've used that in any of them. Here are the pups. The pups when they moved in. It's not even Commander. I got Commander after. Commander is so cute. I love him. Um, Deco. Then all of the leftovers from every time I've used this kit. Yeah, you see that I have a ton of that the greenish blue left. <laughs> oh my goodness, I have so many. Again, greenish blue left. And then I think I also got some of this in a grab bag, so that's where some of it came from too. So there is Making History from SPC. Next, let's move into my next set of kits. These are two kits that are in here just because they fit um, and don't fit any of the others. Uh, so this is Daylight from Sticker Guru. This came in the most recent advent from 2022. So pretty. I love these colors. I love this scene. Um, we have the bottom washi. So this is a kit format that I don't use very often um, just because there's doesn't seem like there's enough here. But I think it would be fun to try um, to do this kind of style. Um, are these just one big flag? No, two flags, sorry. And we have the date headers here. This is foiled in gold. Their foiling is always so good. We have the deco, the toppers, the frames, the trim, which is so pretty. So it's like cut here. Um, and then we have like the journaling kit, I think is what people call it. <laughs> um, the date headers here. And then here is the journaling card that came with that kit. So I love that. I have no idea when I'm going to use it or how I'm going to use it, but I think it would be very pretty. Maybe like a May type kit, maybe? Maybe in April. Then I have a Moonlight, which is like the opposite of Daylight. Um, so again, you have like the opposite version of the scene with the moons and such. Again, so, so pretty. I love the purples and the blues with this yellow. Deco, toppers, frames again. The trim, again, so pretty. And then the journaling here. And then this also came with the journaling card for it. So I hope I get a chance to use that because they are just so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, next, moving into birthday. I don't have a ton of true birthday because um, I find myself that I use them very quickly um, once I find one that I like. Or they're like in my extras binder to where I have the extras but not the kit yet. Um, cause I would only buy the kit if I really needed it. Right. So I try not to just, uh, hoard birthday kits, even though I would love to, cause they're all so cute. So first I have Dino Party. I just did a plan with me, um, in January for this kit. So this is the second copy of that. So you can go back on my channel if you want to watch the plan with me, but I have the second copy plus the leftovers of when I used this kit. So it's kind of... A mix between the two. We have the uh, guy boxes, the extra skin tones there. The fam boxes here for fam three. Solid patterns. 15 millimeter with that dark green and then the bottom washi. So that is Dino Party from Scribble Prince Co. Next I have Man Cave from Glam Planner. I love this one for a guy's birthday art. I just think it's so cool. Um, it doesn't totally fit everyone, um, so you kind of have to, like, pick and choose or you're just gonna, you know, have the boxes that don't fit. So, like, for my boyfriend, this one would fit, but he does not play golf, right? So, it's kind of a, a mix, but you, uh, when I used this last time, I just kind of, like, put the golf or the ones that didn't really apply, like, um, like, in extenders or something like that rather than making them like loud and proud and you can show them so but the art is really pretty I love the colors I love the brown it's very rich it also has these extras for happy birthday or happy father's day this is the big box with Netflix the glitter headers here checklist the bottom washi here's my leftovers there's also these fam add-ons that were like for the father's day art with the kiddos the deco page the checklist page 
probably see if she has label samplers for this since I pretty much just have leftovers. And then also the date headers. I think I used a lot of boxes when I used this last time, so I think that's where that came from. So that is Man Cave from Glam Planner. So I have three more birthday arts, but they are ones that are potentially wanting to be used for different reasons. Um, so we will go through those next. First, this is Celebrate from SBC. I have a full kit of this, and then I also have um, what were like a misfit. So the colorings are off, so you can clearly see that the colorings are off here. So um, I have them with it. I honestly don't know if I would use the mist colorings um, because it's just so far off, <laughs> um, especially when you look at the label. So we'll kind of see once I bring this in what happens um, and what's needed. So this is Celebrate. Here are the full boxes. And then that second copy with the, and then again, the coloring's off that you can see it, but you can't see it so much on this page. I feel like this page is less prominent. We have the patterns here, the solids. This is the mini kit page. Deco, another deco. Um, here are the- Here is an echo, the fifth generation echo dot. Whoops. <laughs> and then I have the deco. Uh, the extra boxes here, the Lux page with the extra boxes, and then two of the bottom washies. Um, I love this. I think that would be perfect for a quote. So that is Celebrate. Sorry for the interruption. Let's see what else do I have next. So next I have Celebration from Apple Blossom Prince Co. I love this. I think it's so cute. She came out with this for it would be Happy New Year or Happy Birthday. So I think that would be perfect. Um, this is on her glossy paper. I don't love either of her papers, but both of them are all right. So I like them enough. And her uh, prices are good. Her shipping's pretty good. Her format I love. So we have a tall box and an extra box here with some extra colors. The bottom washi that's already split, the date covers, and the extra box here. And then I also have the fashion add-on with the tall boxes. And then I did the happy birthday versions of the big box and the extra. So we have the cake and the donuts and then the extra scene here with the balloons. So that is Celebration from Apple Blossom Prince Co. Next I have Let's Party from Glam Planner. I love this art. I've used this art in my work planner for my birthday this past year. But I didn't use the Glam Planner version, and the Glam Planner version is just so good. So I'm wanting to save this, but I also really want to use it because it's so pretty. So this is Let's Party. Uh, this is, again, Silly Studio art, but this was not exclusive art. We have the big box here. I have the FAM version 2 add-on with the shoes and then the hair and then the tall box. We have the checklist. The extra boxes here with the balloons and the cake and donuts. This is obviously her newest format. We have deco, cutout icons, side by things, some little things, patterned washi, glitter headers, and then also the bottom washi here, which I love this color. So I might have to not use the date covers because I want to use that color twice. So that is Let's Party from Glam Planner. Next, let's move into my like pets kits. Um, so these are like what I would use for like birthdays or what I used for her gotcha day, things like that. So this is First Wolf from Apple Blossom Prince Co. This is her matte paper. I think I like her matte paper more than her glossy paper if um, that matters. It feels a little bit smoother. The glossy um, isn't as, I don't know. I don't know how the feeling to describe it, but it just feels a little bit different. Um, so I think I like her matte paper more, but the color payoff is not a caress press color payoff, but it's still very good. So first, this is Wolf. Um, we have this, whoops, the extra scene here, um, and then a flat lay with the outfits, and then the two fashion people. Glitter headers, the deco. She puts so many flags in her kits. I love it. Solid page, pattern page. The yellow looks very bright on that pattern page. I have two of the double boxes. I did both of the scenes, both the outside and the inside. Then this was a freebie, I think, of all the extra boxes. The tall fashion girls plus the extra colors with this brown and this more pink. Um, oh, let's do this one. Then I have the extra box here with the squared boxes, um, some labels and movie marquees. Her movie marquees are very large. 
and then the pattern bottom washi with again another pattern which I think would be perfect for a quote especially like a birthday or uh, like a custom gotcha day kind of thing and then the date headers so that is wolf from apple blossom prints co i gotta find enough room there's so many things in this album okay next i have pet party yeah pet party sorry it's not party um somebody else did p-a-w-t-y i can't remember who that was um this is from happy sticker designs this is older art uh but somewhat of a new newer kit i think um, so this is in her matte paper. I love both of her paper types too. I have the deco, 15 millimeter, of course, glitter headers page. This is an older format, I think though. So. Solids, patterns, uh, the two extra colors here with this like lighter pink and the black. Then I have the extra here. So the extra boxes plus the tie, uh, tall side by washi the split bottom washi, the pattern box, some layering, and the date headers. And then I also did the extra side bar washi, which is just a ton of uh, tall boxes. So that is Pet Party from Happy Sticker Designs. I actually think I bought that art um, thinking that I was going to mess around with my Cricut on it. So <laughs> I can have the double if I want it. Next, I have Fur Babies from Planar Pixie Co. This is, again, not exclusive art, I don't believe, um, but I didn't see it uh, a too, from too many shops. So we kind of have a cat and a dogs, um, but I think that's okay. So we have the two fashion people here, a scene that's more of a cat scene, two cats here, and then two dogs here. Go to our headers. I love these colors. I think they're so pretty. They're kind of like the man cave glam planner art. Her foldable boxes, some little things here. I love that she started doing the little thing add-on, so that would be nice if I had that for this kit. And then the solid page, and then the bottom washi here with a flat lay and pattern bottom washi. So that is Fur Babies from Planner Pixie Co. I am running out of room. Okay, so next, all I have left are my baby-related kits. Um, I have entirely way too many, but that's okay. <laughs> so let's get started with I think what is my favorite which is Little Love from Glam Planner. This came out when she uh, had her uh, her second baby so I just love this art. It's so pretty. I love the shadowing that's done here, the ultrasound, and I also love the extra boxes that we'll see in a second. So here are the uh, extra, or for the, sorry I can't talk, the full boxes. I've been talking for too long. I do have two copies of this because I love it so much. I have the glitter headers. These are the extra boxes with the flat lay and then like the, what are those things called? Like a mobile type thing, but it's on the ground, like a play, play gym, play, play something. <laughs> and the colors, I love the green. It's so pretty. It's very like color neutral. So you could use it for a boy or a girl, somebody else's baby. It's so pretty. Any time of year or two, you wouldn't have to be um, like in one type of year because of, or one season of the year because of the colors so glitter headers page and then here are the extra boxes so we have the pregnant person the two babies the hand and the uh the baby hand and the adult hand and then also the uh like big bro big sis which i just think are so cute and then i have two copies of that so this is in version two and then also the bottom washi with the little ducks they're so cute so that is little love from glam planner Next, I have my second favorite art, probably, which came out at pretty much the same time, or very close to it. Oh, also, here are the here's the big box. I missed it. And then the little extra color label samplers, but here's the big box with the crib. Okay. Next, I have Lullaby from SPC. This is when she had her third baby for Lila. Again, so cute. Love the colors. The colors are very similar, but I love that. Um, again, could be used in any season, of course. The flowers, the flat lay with the story of you book, the crib scene, and then two fashion people here, and then the baby here. The, we have the car seat. I love the car seat box. We'll see in here in a second. Um, so all of the deco, the flags, the sidebar stuff, and the weekend banner, the glitter headers, rounded boxes, solid page, pattern page I love that they're very abstract and I love this pattern and then we have like that pattern but in the green version with the chair 
and then let's see here are the extra boxes so here are the car seat boxes i don't know why i think that's so cute but it is and then we also have some onesies here i have the 15 millimeter the uh, little icons that came with it that are the baby icons and then i also have two of the fam add-ons i did the blonde and the brunette since i have some blonde friends if i wanted to use it for them and then also the two little babies so that is lullaby from spc let's see next i have some more party kits uh yeah let's go through those so first i have the OG baby shark kit. So this is the glam planner version, but I do think I want to get the SBC version. Um, so this is super old, uh, but this is a baby shark version for her first kid. Um, so we have the cake, the balloons, the scene here, the flat lay with the rainbow cake. So pretty. Again, rainbow colors, old format. I don't even think this, this wasn't even her format when she did this. So uh, it's kind of a one-off because of the rainbow colors. We have plenty of deco there. It's kind of large, but that's okay. Checklist with the glitter headers. Check uh, the big check boxes. Glitter headers again, all the colors. We have the tall rainbow, the um, cake with the one, and some more balloons, and then the bottom washi. So that is Baby Shark from Glam Planner. Next, I have another Glam Planner baby birthday kit. This is Dino Party, um, which reminds me of that one dinosaur show. I can't remember what it was called um, that I watched in the kid because I feel like it's like that style with the rounded roundedness of the dinosaurs and the characters and stuff. So we have the cake, the extra scene here with the um, eggs, which I think is just so cute. And then the colors are also very uh, light, which I think pairs well with this art. Um, we have the patterns, which are basically all the same. She started just recently changing that. Um, rounded boxes with checklists, the check boxes. I have the add-on with the kiddos and the extra scene here. The big box, the glitter headers, the happy birthday, which is the same ribbon, I think, that's in the Harry Potter kit, which is just funny to me, plus the extra box here, and then also the pattern bottom washi. So that is... I think this was also Dino Party compared to the SPC Dino Party. So this is Glam Planner's Dino Party. <laughs> Next, I have another Glam Planner kit that's not technically baby, but I think would be perfect for like a baby shower. And there's a baby add-on. Let's see if I can get it out of this album. Maybe. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is the May 2020 uh mystery that's this boho birthday i think is what she called it but it had extra add-ons and i have so many leftovers and stuff in this so this is kind of a hodgepodge of things but here are the full boxes the extra boxes some random pieces of bottom washi deco um various things some headers but it has this baby add-on so there was like an engagement add-on a baby add-on a graduation add-on and then a generic birthday add-on, I think. So this is the baby one, which I just think is so cute. A bottom washi page. Let's see, I have some of the foil. This was a misfit foil. Oh my goodness, I'm such a mess here. Okay, nope, still not figured out. <laughs> okay, another of the extra sheet, another of the deco page, boxes, a full bottom washi, thank goodness, checklist, a label sampler, what I don't have for this kit is glitter headers, so I really want her to bring this out so I can grab one just for the glitter headers. I think I used this in a different planner, and I just didn't use glitter headers, just hoping that she would reformat this and get it. I have this extra here that would really be for me and my birthday, so I don't know why it's in this kit. And then also the tall fashion people. So that is Boher Birthday May 2020 Mystery from Glam Lanner. Oh, I'm going to figure out where that goes later. <laughs> Next, I have another Glam Planner baby. I think this is Little Love. I might have it written somewhere in here. Um, but again, I think was just an older baby art uh, that from a few years ago. So this is definitely an older format. So the full boxes here with the scene with the crib and the tent. We have the two extra boxes with the babies and the date headers old 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 bottom washi not even day covers there um patterns here some little things that are all one color deco big rounded boxes check boxes 
the extra double box scene that is that same scene that we already saw. And then this was not with this kit, but I think the colors matched perfectly. It's technically a snowflake too, so... But I think if you like put a confetti on that, you wouldn't even see that it's a snowflake. <laughs> so it's from some random winter kit, but I thought it went well and I needed the bottom washing the day cover. So that is what I think is Little Love from Glam Planner. Next, I have Baby Magic from SBC. This is more of a recent kit, um, kind of older now, uh, but I know that she's reformatted this a couple times, so I wonder if she'll do it again. But this is like a Disney baby version. Um, which I just think is so pretty. I love this purple again. With a bottom washi, which when I first got this bottom washi, I was like, is this misfit? Because there's like black dots. But it's meant to be like that, which I think is so interesting. We have the patterns page, solid page, rounded boxes, deco. Some of that's really big, but some of that's a good size. Um, this, I think, was in a misfit, I think. We have the extra boxes from uh, the Lux kit. Or the ultimate, sorry. Uh, the deco. Yeah, this is the older format misfit that I got. Uh, some patterns page. Solid page with little things. Again, the bottom washi. Oh, this is from the original that were the ultimate extra boxes. Or not the original, the newest. Um, and then this is the fam three add-on with the person and then like the big brother, big sisters. And then also the baby in different skin tones. So that is Baby Magic from SPC. And then the next one I have, I have it planned for like a gender review party. Um, if that happens, I don't know, but this is Cupcake. I got this as a Misfit too, I think, um, in like one of the like $5 random pulls or whatever. So this is Cupcake. It's perfect with the green or the pinks and the blues. Lots of tiny deco I love. I do think this is a mini kit. Yeah, it's definitely a mini kit. So there's not a ton here. Um, so we'll see if I end up using this. I'm not sure. And then the bottom washi that's kind of like that abstract art. So that is Cupcake. Oops, I'm moving things all around. And then I have this one tall box from Glam Planner that's in here that I've been saving. But I don't know if I'm ever going to use it. So I might as well pass it on and give it to somebody that actually has this kit. Um, but I have those fashion boxes. <laughs> and then last but not least, I have a Happy Sticker Designs baby kit. Uh, this is New Chapter. I just love these colors. I think they're so pretty. Uh, I also don't think we see these colors too often with this like orangey browns type, uh, thing. And it also has some animals here, flat lays. Yeah, this is like a super bright orange. And then this, again, is in her matte paper. It is, like, a thinner paper, but I think it's pretty. Uh, here's an extra box with, like, an elephant uh, pattern. Um, this is, again, old format. So we have old scripts, old date header or date numbers, and then old icons, too. I don't think she has those anymore, if I remember correctly. We have the old clear headers page. I have the extra boxes here with the fam. The two extra boxes that came in the full kit. The bottom washi that again is split, but I feel like this is a bottom washi that might you might not want to split. And then I also have the sidebar washi, which is basically again just the top boxes from the kit. So that is all I have for my celebrations binder. I hope you enjoyed this video. This picture for the thumbnail is going to be so hard to take because there's so many in here. Um, and I hope this video wasn't too long. If you want to see any of my other sticker kit collection videos, they will be in the playlist that this one is also in. I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.